we took a look at the different portions of the user interface um, and how to manipulate them to suit our needs. And now we're going to take a look at how to actually navigate through our files. So let's take a look at this file right here. It's a small office corner, uh, unfinished office corner. Um, and we have a plan view right here. When I move my cursor into the um, drawing area, and I push down on the middle mouse button, which is important to have. If you don't have a mouse with three buttons or a middle button that you can push down, you need to get one. So if I push down on the middle button, my cursor changes to crosshairs, and it actually lets me pan the drawing around. Uh, that's a function of the middle button. Um, if you have a scroll wheel mouse, which I would recommend, um, you can also scroll on the wheel, and the, the screen zooms in and zooms out to where you want to zoom into. Notice that when you use the zoom function, um, the view actually zooms to where you have your cursor pointed. For example, if I'm interested in this corner right here and I zoom in, that's the portion that will zoom in and zoom out. So those are the two functions that you can use uh, in a plan view. Off on the right-hand side, we also have a, uh, a palette uh, that has it's a navigation uh, window that allows us to open up what's called a view wheel that gives us some options here and some zoom functions. I'll get into this a little bit later uh, because they have different functions for the different views that we'll look at. Let's first look at a south elevation in this case. And the south elevation works just like a floor plan. I can push my middle button, pan around, or I can point at a particular corner and zoom in on it and zoom out. If we go to a 3D view, uh, we can use some of the same functionality. Like right there, what I just did was to push the middle wheel button or the middle mouse button, and I panned my view to be a little bit more centered in the view. So I can pan just like I can with a floor plan or an elevation. If I want to take a look at a particular portion of the model, I can, of course, zoom with the wheel mouse, and wherever my mouse is pointing is where the window will actually zoom in on. There are a couple of extra features in this one, though. Uh, when I want to actually spin this model around, I can push the middle mouse button, but actually do so while I'm holding the shift key on the keyboard. So I'm holding the shift key on the keyboard right now, and then I pull, then I push the middle uh, wheel button, and you'll notice that my cursor now changes to kind of two rotating arrows. And as I do this, I move my mouse around, and I'm now spinning my model around with my mouse. It does so around a centroid. The model spins around kind of the center of itself. As you can notice, it spins in the middle of the file. When I'm zoomed in on something, however, let's say, for example, I want to take a look at this detail right here, and I use the Shift key, which I'm holding down right now, and the middle mouse button to spin the model around, that detail spins right out of my screen. That's because the model still spins around the center of the model. If I want to anchor the shot, which I can do, all I have to do is basically select one of the components like this. I'm going to, I'm going to select this steel column right here, and once it's selected, I can spin my model around, and it stays in the screen. So as I'm spinning the model around, the shot is anchored around that column. Or for that matter, I can pick a wall or anything else that anchors the shot and keeps, keeps my model from spinning out of control or out of the, out of the screen. 